Venus and Apollo, they both eat raw food since they were puppies. Uh, we normally buy their food from BJ's or Publix. But we decided to give it a try to buy a company that we found on Instagram. They're called... What is their name? Real Raw. I will put the link down below. Um, let's see what is inside the box. It came by FedEx in this box. And it's a foam cooler. This is chicken breast. Beef liver. Beef heart, quail, rabbit, chicken, green tripe, the, the food is still solid, frozen, which is really nice. This one is pork, buffalo, duck. I don't think we have never given them duck. I'm not sure. This one say pet food combo. This one is lamb. They love lamb. Especially Venus Lovely. This one is turkey. And the rest are all the same that we saw already. This food is supposed to last them two weeks if it's one dog, but we have two dogs, so. It will be one week worth of food. Let's see how it goes. I will let you all know and update it. Paula knows what you're touching. <laughs> <laughs> That's your food, baby? That's your food? Yeah. This is how we used to pack the food that we buy. We normally go to BJ's and buy the big pack of meat like this one is churrasco and we got it on October 3 today is October 5 so that's our kids diet like it well Apollo didn't like the treat and that's weird because they love those liver treats normally then we get them at Publix and PetSmart Apollo eat it Ellie she also spit it no she got it back she's eating it well, Ellie liked it, Apollo not so much, and Venus is eating hers. She went to her crate to eat it. I'm gonna start preparing Venus and Apollo's food. I'm gonna add uh, fish oil, organic eggs, and coconut. I'm going to first put the coconut.
fish oil. And let's see this, how it is. This one is the rabbit food. This is the rabbit pet food. I will give this one, which one is the other one? Green tray. Green tray. This one is gonna be for Apollo. I'm going to be adding an egg. This one is green tripe and this one is for Venus. The bag? I I thought like I don't know just the way that it looked in the bag that it was gonna be a little bit compared to what we normally give them, even though the weight showed like a good amount, but in the bowl actually it looks like a lot more than what we normally give them. <laughs> right? It looks huge. It looks like a lot of food. They probably won't finish that. This is how the food look. It look very fresh. I think the dogs are gonna like it. It smell the green tripe smell really strong and looks pretty fresh which is amazing because we have tried other companies that give you raw food and it didn't look anything like this this look pretty pretty fresh and good even the chicken look at that it's beautiful the chicken looks that's beautiful. a chicken that like i will eat it looks perfect and this and one the is same apollo thing for here. like all the meat looks fresh it doesn't look like it was you know old or something they decided to to give it to the dog then it wasn't leftovers. So now let's feed the dogs. Wait. Don't get it, buddy. Free. You're free, up, Bobby. You can get it. <laughs> it's frozen. Here you go, Venus. There he goes. Let's see if Venus like it, because she's really picky with her food. She's smelling everything, checking it up. Think it's a success? Yeah, she's eating the green tripe first. Buddy, what happened with your food? Look! He froze, he didn't know what to do. He was like, <laughs> he didn't want to move. You have never eaten that before, right? Try it. Go ahead, buddy. She's actually eating the chicken and taking out the green tripe to the floor. Really? That's weird. She loves green tripe. I know. Today is day two of the real raw diet. This is the buffalo one. That's the bone that came. It's chicken. We cut it because if it's too big, Venus take it with her to the sofa or to her bed and start guarding it instead of eating it. So we normally cut it. That's coconut that we are putting now and fish oil. Ellie seemed to like hers. Venus is playing with that piece of, I think it's dog neck. She's just playing around with it like it's yeah. a toy. <laughs> she don't want to eat it so, so far day two don't look that good for us. Today is day three of the raw pet food, real raw. Today they are eating buffalo and pork. 
Apollo, go get it. Apollo, go get it. Apollo, you don't like your food? Today is day four of the real raw. This is some buffalo. Apollo, buddy, you're not gonna eat? Look, your food is there. This is still day uh, four. They didn't like the buffalo, so we are trying now duck. They're not a big fan of ground meat. I think that's the problem that we are having with them right now. Because we normally give them, we buy the meat and we cut it ourselves. So it's fresh cut meat, no grounded. So they're a little spoiled. Well, we end up giving them our steak that we have bought for us because they didn't like the ground meat uh, of the dog or buffalo. That doesn't mean it will don't work for you. Probably for you will work if your dog like ground beef or anything grounded. Ours are a little spoiled. We have given them since they were puppies big chunks of meat, so that's what they like. Yeah, we always did the raw ourselves. So they got used to us uh, getting them food and we always picked it out ourselves so we always got them the freshest meat. We didn't you know, get them stuff that was old or rotten. Um, but I think any dog coming from like, especially dog food, they'll go crazy for any kind of raw food that you give them. But ours just didn't, didn't go for it. It's not the first one that they didn't go for but... This is the second time we try one of those um yeah, the meat definitely looked a lot better than the other place that we looked at, but I guess we're just going to have to do it on our own. And, I mean, it's just for simplicity. You, you know, you just order it from one place and it all comes with the portions that you need and the weight and everything. Um, you could definitely do it on your own. It's actually probably cheaper if you do it on your own. Plus, we eat the meat ourselves. Yeah, so we kind of look at it as if we have food, the dogs have food. Um, but it's price difference is really not much um, a lot of prices are you know if you, as long as you buy in bulk you'll be you'll be paying about the same price if you do it on your own you just got to be aware of the portion so usually it's about 2% of your dog's weight or ideal weight and 10% of that should be organs and 10% should be bones We will be staying with our regular food that we buy. That's some steak, some tripe, and what she took it was a bone of oxtail. Cause that's what it worked for us. Well, this is it for this time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Venus's channel. See you in the next one. Venus, say bye bye. You're so pretty, mommy. <laughs>